Namashivaya children. Welcome to the Amrita class of the democracy where we studied about the merits of democracy. Why it is necessary to have a democracy in a country. Now we shall continue the discussion and study arguments or problems that come when we have a democracy. Here we shall start this with a cartoon. This cartoon was published in Canada just before its parliamentary elections of 2004. Including the cartoonist, everyone expected the Liberal Party to win once again. When the results came, the Liberal Party lost the election. Now we shall see and uh, here we have two people, Rajesh and Muzaffar here. And you have to read the article. Here it showed that no democracy has ever gone to war with another democracy. Wars take place only when one of the two governments is non-democratic. The article said that this was a great merit of democracy. After reading the essay, Rajesh and Muzaffar had different reaction. Rajesh said that this was not a good argument for democracy. It was just a matter of chance. It is possible that in future, democracies may have wars. Now, Muzaffar said that it could not be a matter of chance. Democracies take decision in such a way that it reduces the chances of war. So, see here and you have to think which of the two positions do you agree? Now, here he is telling that we voters are angry and we are not going, going to take it anymore. Because they see that even though they have elected the leader, he is not working according to their needs. The liberals have been arrogant. They have broken our trust in government. They stole our money. So on June 28, we are going to do what Canadians do best. We are going to vote them back in. So this is a cartoon discussion and you have to decide which of the two positions do you agree with and why now when we go to the market to buy a phone we get confused because many type of smartphones are there and uh, we are in a confusion isn't it we choose it on the basis of their good and bad features. We ask the shopkeeper to explain about the each mobile and its feature. Then how will we decide on the basis of their good and bad features. Then only we purchase it. This is exactly how the democracy works. As we look for the good and bad features of the phone, in the same manner, democracy also has good and bad features. Now let us see one by one the bad features that are there. Now in democracy, when you see, many people have to be consulted which leads to delay now when you want to take a decision on any matter it can't be taken suddenly they have to have discussions they have to have meeting with all the people then decide it and then they will come to a conclusion so what happens here the decisions will be delayed next argument is in democracy Leaders may change, which leads to instability. So this is another problem. So what happens here? We choose a leader and send. He may not work 
in the best interest of the people. So he may take, so what we do, we elect another leader and send. And also what happens here, the government will be in instability. It will not be having the uh, continuation of five years. Actually, how much is the period? Five years. It will not be there. Next argument, democracy is all about political competition. They compete with each other. They want only to get a rule, a ruling party there. They want their party to win. They don't have any interest in the country. And they have the interest in getting the power. And there is no scope for morality. They give money to the voters and bribe them and then they purchase the votes and then they come here as leaders. So there is no morality here. Now democracy leads to corruption as it is based on competition for power. So the leader who has come up may go on getting money for himself and he will become selfish. So, it is based on competition for power. Now, the leaders who are hungry for power, they want power only, that's all. Sometimes who come like this, who are not selfless, they take selfish decisions, means they take on their decisions on their own interest. So, what happens to the decisions then? Will it be good for the people? No. Which are bad for the people. It will be a bad decision for the people. They do not know what is the interest of the people. So, these are so many people have to be consulted and leaders keep changing. Then political competition and power play is there. And sometimes it will lead to corruption. Ordinary people don't know what is good. They should not decide anything. So we have many illiterate people. They don't know. So these arguments are some arguments only that are against the government. And there are several arguments like this. Which of these can apply to misuse of any form of government? So clearly, democracy is not a magical solution for all the problems. It has not ended poverty in our country and in other parts of the world also where democracy is there. Democracy as a form of government only ensures that people take their own decision. This does not guarantee that their decisions will be good. People can make mistakes. So... Democracy cannot give us everything and is not the solution to all the problems. But it is clearly better than any other alternative. It offers better chances of a good decision. It is likely to respect people's own wishes and allows different kinds of people. They can live together who may be of different religion, different caste, different creed class like this it allows a very um, there is a way to correct its mistake and offers more dignity to all the citizens so when we um, see all this argument for and against uh, there is a question in our mind that and at last the real question we face is different what is that means is democracy better than other forms of government that are there for us to choose from. So we will be in a question which is correct. So this is the end of the arguments for and arguments against democracy children. In the next content, I'll be explaining about the broader meaning of democracy. That's all for today children. Namaskar